How did life begin? Are we merely a random combination of molecules that have been affected by accidents and mutations over millions of years? Well, let's begin our search for the origin of life and see where the evidence might lead. Join us now on Wonders Without Number. to be looking at figuring out how you can recognize design if it falls on you. Okay. Right, so there's what we're going to be doing. So you'll see our first line, IQ test, this line is in what code? Now David, you should recognize it's in English code, yeah, right? Sure. And it was done by an intelligent designer because I'm the revealer of truth here. I did that. Okay. Right? okay. So I was there when it happened. Let's All take right. an ordinary code, dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, dot, dot. Okay. okay, what does it mean? SOS, help. Right, help. It's Morse code. Yes. Right, so when we look at that, now we're going to ask some more serious questions like why does dot 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 equal s? You could put dot 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 at the end of a sentence and it doesn't mean s, right? Ah. It just means ponder. Okay. So the dot 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 only has the meaning of what's in your head. It doesn't mean anything by itself. There's the point. Somebody existed before the code somebody who is not a part of the code, and somebody who is smarter than the code. All right, now what you're saying, the audience can use this to talk to their teachers, to their professors, and say, would you agree, this was created code. It was created by some intelligence. But then, if that's created, yes. what about the code of life? Right.